Hello everybody, today I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing of something I was really excited to find at Barnes & Noble. It is the Black Series 6 inch Clone Commander Wolf. On the side of the box you've got his name, on the back you've got a brief description, on this side he doesn't have a number so it's pretty plain, and then you've got him inside the package. Let's open her up. So now we got him open. Uh, it took a little minute just to see how he is, and I'm going to be honest, I'm actually really happy with this figure. Um, Clone Commander Wolf isn't one of my favorite characters. I was more excited for uh, Captain Rex, but I could not find him. The uh, paint job on the figure is very nice. It's not He's not quite as shiny. He's got a little bit of dirt on there. There's no texture, but it's a good amount of dirt. Um... So with the uh, helmet, I'm really happy with that because you can lower the visor and lift it back up. Once you take that helmet off, I am absolutely loving Hasbro's new um, facial scan technology because this is one of my favorite head sculpts I've seen. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Really brings the character to life. It looks exactly like Tomorrow Morrison. Uh, and I'm a huge fan of that. Um, so when you got the articulation in the head, you got this uh, this little neck swivel, and then I think you have a ball inside the neck, which gives you a good range of motion. You got up, you got down, you got side to side, and that's pretty much it for this guy. He can pretty much go anywhere. Um, with the shoulders, you've got not too much out just because of the shoulder pad and armor, but you've got. Uh, you can go all the way around. You got the swivel down here just above the elbow. You got double jointed elbows, which I really like. Um, whenever the Black Series, any kind of trooper has double jointed elbows. Um, you've got the swivel on the wrist. And because he's got a gun, it goes up and down. And then you get to the chest, you've got the ball joint on the chest, you can turn left, you can turn right, you can go down a little bit, but the belt is a little hindering. You can go back eh, quite a bit, but not too much. Uh, then you get down to the legs, you've got pretty basic ball joint, I'm sure, in there. You don't get too much high, you don't get too much, don't get too much at all in the back. Uh, double jointed knees, you've got a swivel. Uh, yeah, it looks like a, a ball hinge on the ankles that they've been doing quite a bit of. It doesn't have too much going back in the ankle just because of how the, uh, how the back of the clone armor goes, but he's got pretty good forward, so you can set him up in some, uh, crouching positions. For accessories, he comes with the helmet that I mentioned before, and he comes with two of these little clone trooper blasters which I have not had him hold yet. Let's see if he holds them snugly. And yeah, for the most part yeah they're not too bad. Not too bad at all. Overall it's a very nice figure. I'm actually very happy with it. This is uh, my first clone trooper, and because he is uh, a commander, he's got the, the fabric goods on the cape, which is nice and light. It doesn't hinder the movement in any way. Uh, it's a nice little detail. The only real gripe I have with this figure is that his left hand, uh, I don't know if you can see it on here, but it's made more into, it's made into a fist, hold on, it's out of focus. It's made into a fist here, and he doesn't have a finger to fit through the, the trigger hole, which is not a huge deal, but sometimes when I'm taking photos, I just like to have that be a little more, um, uh, just something that I wish they had thought of, because if you give him two guns, I mean, why not give him two trigger fingers? But honestly, it's not too bad. I'm sure in most pictures I'll have him holster one blaster, or he'll be holding another blaster or something, but... Honestly, I am very happy with Clone Commander Wolf. I did not expect to like this figure as much as I do. Um, I'm a huge Clone Clone Wars fan, but this is the first, like I said, Clone Trooper that I've gotten my hands on, and it's 
pretty darn badass, if I do say so myself. So, uh, yeah, I haven't done very many figure unboxings recently, but if you want to see more, I suppose uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and drop a like, drop a comment. Uh, please be nice, my god. Uh, the internet is tearing people up these days, and that's not, uh, not something I really want to deal with, but I just want to bring you guys my opinion on a couple of cool figures. So, uh, yeah. That's about it, and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for watching.